What is up, Starseeds? It's Sid, and today we are going to be talking about words because words are freaking weird. Words are scary. I am scared to speak the English language because I know that it is a trap, okay? The English language is brainwashing you subconsciously, unconsciously, sometimes consciously like when I walk into work and everyone is like good morning and I'm like oh my gosh I can't believe you just said that and then I like feel the social you know pressure to say good morning back to them even though I want to be like grand rising because that is so much better for you to say grand rising instead of good morning think about it morning you mourn when like someone dies when something bad happens and that's how you're gonna start your day by saying good morning no grand rising grand rising baby let's please start normalizing that or when someone calls you nice oh they're so nice did you know that nice actually stems from a latin word which means ignorant total I mean, not total opposites, because you can be nice and ignorant, but one is perceived to be positive and one is perceived to be negative. You know what I'm saying? So there's just a lot of, a lot of things that are like, hmm, I don't know about that English. Like, for example, Los Angeles, the city. What is that backwards? So subconsciously and unconsciously, our mind picks up on things backwards. You've probably heard of like popular music people putting these subliminal messages into their music because if you listen to it backwards, it says some satanic thing or what have you. Or you can find kind of like the hidden meaning of what someone is subconsciously or unconsciously thinking by playing their answers to questions or an interview of them backwards sometimes they say things but anyways Los Angeles backwards I'll put it up on the screen here it kind of sounds like selling our souls or selling a soul take that as you will and then love backwards is evil so there's all of these words and it's just like backwards the root meaning there's so many different ways that English is just like a trap a curse when you're spelling, you're casting a spell. People always say that. And it's it's so freaking true. And we need to be more aware of that. And we need to start using telepathy instead of English because it's scary out here. Another word I think of is dense and how people say, oh, that's that's so dense. Like, that's so stupid. But really, dense backwards, this is stretching. I know it is. But it reminds me of, like, ascend. I know that's stretching, but when you think of density and dense, you think of 3D, 4D, 5D if you're in the spiritual community, but you think of, you know, how dense something is. Does it mean stupid or does it mean something like a send, something like a great organizer? If you look at what this word is, which is dense spelled backwards exactly, that word actually means something and it means something positive rather than the word dense meaning like stupid or something this is controversial but you've got to think about breaking down the word as well the word black saying i'm black if i was a black person i'm be lack be lack you don't want to be lack you want to be abundant so these people made this word to keep black people in a position of being lack which is terrible also like I am is a very powerful phrase. I am, you know, fill in the blank. You want it to be something good, right? And if you think about words that start with like, I'm, I think of like maybe imagination and I don't know, this is stretching, but it kind of sounds like I'm aging a ton. So there's just like a lot of things to look into when you look into English and being conscious of it is is a lot because if you at least know when you say good morning like oh be conscious and in your head at least say grand rising i feel like that does something you know i really i really feel like it has power at least just knowing what you're saying and so you can overpower that thought being aware of the subliminal messages in the english language is really important to do 
So don't let this be a curse. That's another thing. Like when you curse someone out, like it's a curse. But I don't know. I haven't looked up the meaning of all of those words. There's so many words we need to look into. Like what words do you use every day? Should probably look them up and see what they mean. See if you should find a different word for it instead. I'm definitely going to do that now. And I've always been aware of this slightly um, for most of my life. But I just, I've never really looked into it. And now that I think about it more, it's really important for me to do. So I encourage you all to do that as well. And just be aware that English is a trap, man. And I've probably said some words that are probably not great for me to say in this video without even knowing that. But I'm bringing awareness to the topic. So that's why I wanted to make a video on this. So think about what you say. Because spelling is a spell. Peace out.